Wonder Woman made her first appearance way back in 1941 in All-Star Comics No. 8, but Brian Azzarello has created a vision of Wonder Woman for the New 52 that is truly unique. This is Wonder Woman cover to cover. Azzarello's Wonder Woman introduces the pantheon of Greek gods into the world of Wonder Woman. Apollo, War, Poseidon, and Mount Olympus, the whole deal. Trouble starts when Hera attempts to kill the seed of Zeus's latest infidelity, the son of a woman named Zola. Hermes, the bird-like messenger of the gods, goes to Wonder Woman for help protecting this mortal. Not only is Zola's baby Zeke in danger from Hera and her minions, but Apollo also wants him dead because he believes Zeke is the child of Zeus prophesied to kill a god and take the throne of Olympus. Legend has it that Wonder Woman was born from clay, but it's revealed that this is a lie told to hide the truth. Diana's true father is Zeus, and her immortal heritage is the source of her fantastic abilities. This battle of the gods is now a family affair. Diana's origin is not the only secret kept on Paradise Island. Wonder Woman also learns that both girls and boys are born to Amazon mothers, but the sons are secretly banished from the island, never to return. Hera's murderous jealousy leads to an increasingly bloody conflict between Wonder Woman and the gods. While Hera is distracted, Apollo makes his move to take the throne of Olympus. And with Zeus gone, Apollo believes he has won, but he couldn't be more wrong. A new enemy has clawed his way out of an ancient prison he was never meant to escape. This new foe is Zeus's firstborn son, a hate-filled, immensely powerful immortal aptly named the Firstborn. Wonder Woman and her friends, including Orion of the New Gods, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Firstborn, temporarily defeating him. In the battle, the god War is killed. Before he dies, he passes his mantle to Wonder Woman, promoting Diana officially to the ranks of the Olympians as the new god of war. The battle for Zola's child reaches a climax on the summit of Olympus, where the Firstborn kills Apollo and reshapes the seed of the gods in his own image, a towering hellscape of flesh. Wonder Woman, along with Hera, Zola, and the rest of her allies, flee to Paradise Island to prepare for war with the Firstborn. Diana makes her first decree as their queen and god of war. The Amazons, each and every one of them, have a duty to protect Zeke, a male child. This is completely contrary to everything the Amazons stand for as a society of only women who have turned their backs on the world of men, and not everyone is happy with Diana's decision. But the changes are just beginning as the Sons of Paradise Island return to the motherland. As the Amazons struggle to find common ground, the Firstborn wastes no time continuing his conquest of the gods. After destroying Hades and the Dominion of Hell, the Firstborn comes for Harvest. Wonder Woman arrives just in time to save Harvest and stays behind to protect her friend's retreat. But this time, Diana is no match for the Firstborn. Back on Paradise Island, the Amazons prepare for the Firstborn's assault. It is swift and brutal, and without Wonder Woman to lead them, Alika steps up to rally her sisters in arms. Firstborn forces Wonder Woman to watch as her friends fight for their lives. The Firstborn offers to spare Diana if she will stand by his side and be his queen. Needless to say, she refuses. Cassandra and the Minotaur join the battle through a creepy blood teleportation thing. Orion falls to the Minotaur, and Alika, who was once the loudest voice of dissent against Wonder Woman's progressive ideas, dies defending Zola and Zeke. The Amazonians are losing. The Firstborn stabs Diana and leaves her for dead. Wonder Woman bleeds out, alone, knowing she's failed her sisters, her friends, everyone. All seems lost. Then, baby Zeke's eyes glow strangely and a miracle occurs. Wonder Woman's mother, Hippolyta, long thought dead, returns to defend her people at the turn of the tide. It seems the Amazons have some fight left in them after all. Now you're all caught up on Diana's adventures and you're ready to dig into Brian Azzarello and Cliff Chang's final arc in their epic Wonder Woman run, which is happening right now in your local comic book stores. Yeah, and guess what? She's about to be a big, huge movie star, so the time to catch up is now.